Down Financial Advice. Do your own research. My name is Wes, and if you're interested in investing in Klima Dow, then you have found the right video. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up our Matic wallet if you don't already have that set up. So I'm going to click on my MetaMask browser extension up here at the top where it tells me what network I'm on. I'm going to scroll down to Custom RPC, and then I'm just going to copy and paste this information over. And I will put a link to this stuff uh, down below in the description so that all you have to do is follow that link, and then you'll be able to copy and paste this over just like I'm doing. Uh, one thing to note is if you do it in the same window that you have the browser extension open, every time you click back to the page, your MetaMask browser will close. Um, so it won't work to do it that way. You'll have to type it in one by one. Or you can open it up in a second window. I'll have the side-by-side -side windows here. And that lets you just copy and paste it directly over. So next, we're going to fund our Matic wallet. And that's going to actually give us the funds that we need to be able to purchase the Klima that we're then going to turn around and stake. Uh, my preferred way of getting funds into my Matic wallet is by using the Umbria bridge. There's also other ways that you can do that, um, you know, purchasing through KuCoin or Binance or maybe even Coinbase, um, and then just withdrawing those assets into your MetaMask wallet. Uh, but again, I'm going to show you through Umbria, so I'll put a link to Umbria down below. You're just going to click Bridge Assets. It's going to bring you into the bridge. From there, you're going to make sure that your wallet's connected um, and that you're on the Ethereum mainnet. Since we're sending from Ethereum to Polygon, we need to start out on the Ethereum mainnet. So from there, what we're going to do is make sure that this lines up, right? So we're sending from Ethereum to Polygon. And then we just put however much Ethereum we're wanting to send. So if we want to do 0.1 Ethereum, plug that in there. We can see here that we received almost that exact same amount minus very small fees that Umbria takes. And we'll click Send MetaMask. Um, this is telling me I have an insufficient balance because I do not have any Ethereum in this wallet at the moment. Um, so let me put it that down to where I can. If I hit Send MetaMask, here you'll see uh, network fee, your sending, your wallet receive, hit Send. We'll have to pay the Ethereum gas fees to do this, which Ethereum gas fees can be high, um, but that's really not that bad. So what we would do here is we'd hit confirm, we'd approve the transaction. The transaction would take about 10 to 15 minutes to come through, and then you would have that wrapped Ethereum in your Polygon wallet. So now that we've bridged our assets over to the Polygon network, we need to get a little bit of Matic so that we can actually start transacting on the network, because the Matic is the native currency, and that's what's used to pay the gas fees. Good news about the Polygon network is the transactions are super, super cheap, like pennies cheap. So they've got these things called faucets, which essentially just disperse this very small amount of Matic uh, that will pay for a few transactions for you and help you get started. So what I'd recommend doing is using these faucets, getting a little bit of Matic, and then trading the currency that you just traded over to the Polygon networks, in this case your Ethereum, and swapping that for Matic so that you have that in the native currency and you can tra transact with that. So. Uh, here's two faucets that are on here. So there's the Polygon faucet, and then there's another one here that is uh, brought to you by Mac and Cheese Finance. Um, so, and I have both these up here because the Matic supply, I was having trouble getting that to work. Um, I wasn't able to connect to it, um, but this one, it did work for me. I was able to connect, but since I've already got a bunch of Matic in my wallet, um, they told me to stop being greedy and try to take free Matic, um, which is completely fair, and I was just doing it to uh, make sure that it was working because I was having an issue with this one. Um, so before I told you, I wanted to make sure that it actually was working. Um, the fact that it, you know, was able to actually see my wallet interact with it, um, I think means that you're probably going to go with this one if this first one doesn't work for you. And again, you're just doing this so that you get a little bit of Matic to pay for the gas fees so that you can swap your wrapped Ethereum that you sent over to your wallet into the native Matic, which is what we're going to interact with from here on out. If we go to SushiSwap, um, which is my preferred exchange, um, we'll select wrapped ETH and we'll send it to Matic. So we'll take all of our wrapped ETH, you know, we'll just click here, it'll pull in all that wrapped ETH that we just sent to our wallet um, using that Umbria bridge, and then we'll swap that to Matic. Um, I don't have any in my wallet right now, um, but you can see you do this where it says insufficient, it'll say, you know, something like approved transaction. Um, confirm swap. So I'd click that. I would get a MetaMask prompt asking, do I want to approve this swap? I would say yes. The transaction would go through. And now I would have my wrapped Ethereum turned into Matic. So now that we've got our Matic, we're ready to actually go to the Klima website and begin purchasing our Klima tokens so that we can start staking. So here's the Klima website. What we need to do is we need to come down here to the app and we'll open that up. From here, we're going to make sure that our wallet is connected to the site. So we'll click through on the MetaMask prompt. This will open up. And we'll have an opportunity to connect our wallet. So now that we're connected, we need to go through and actually purchase our Klima. I would recommend coming down here to the info and FAQ just to make sure that you end up purchasing the right token. Down here, you can see the sushi swap for Klima to BCT. BCT is the carbon tokens, essentially the carbon credits, uh, which is what Klima DAO uses as the kind of backing, the financial backing for their tokens. 
but you don't have to purchase it with BCT. So what I would do here is we would switch over to Matic, which is the token that we just purchased using our rapid Ethereum that we sent over using the Umbria bridge. And now we can put in however much of our Matic we want to spend to purchase the Klima token. If you want to use all that Matic that we just bought in the last step on Juicy Swap, all you do is hit max. I don't want to do that. I'm going to do about 250 Matic, which is about $500. So that's about right. That's when I want to invest in this. Um, so then I would hit swap and I'm going to confirm my swap. Then I'll get a MetaMask prompt here that I'll need to approve. So I'll scroll down here to click approve on that. As you can see, you know, it's less than 0.01 Matic. So we'll confirm that. Transaction submitted. Add claim to MetaMask. So this is going to put that token in my user interface. Um, so if you don't do this, it's okay. The claim will still go to your wallet. You just won't be able to see it in the uh, browser extension of MetaMask. Uh, but it's always good to do that, you know, just so you have it right there, easy to see. So now we've got 0.2781 Klima. Okay, so now we'll come back over here to the Klima app. We'll actually go here back to where it says State Klima. We'll come over here to the side. We'll click Max. We'll bring in, which will automatically bring in the entire amount of Klima that we just purchased on SushiSwap. Scroll down, hit Approve. Okay, I figured out what happened. So on my last transaction, what I did was I was just approving it. I wasn't actually staking it. So what we need to do here is we need to put Max in again. We'll still have our 0.281. Nothing's actually been staked. It's still that balance that is in my wallet. And then we'll come down here and we'll see that button has changed to stake because that is the action that we're actually wanting to take. We're wanting to make sure that we are staking our Klima tokens because that's how we're going to end up earning our rewards. So we'll do this, let MetaMask process this transaction. Once that's done, then we should see our balance go to zero and our stake go to 0.2812. So let me give this a second, make sure this goes through. Confirm transaction and the stake automatically updates to 0.2812. And the exciting thing here is I can go ahead and see that in one hour and 18 minutes, I will get a 0.5% ROI, um, which is crazy that that'll happen that quickly. And then over a five day period, I can expect an 8.31% ROI. Um, and then over the course of the year, assuming that things didn't change, I would get 34,000% ROI. Um, and that's obviously going to change, uh, but it is still pretty cool. And then this current index, uh, what this means essentially is if you'd stake one Klima at the very first day of when this project started, it would now be worth 1.17 Klima. So that tells you we're still super early. Uh, this project is really, really just starting to take off um, and get off the ground. But one thing I want to say here and kind of reiterate, none of this is financial advice. I just wanted to share what I learned, how I went about doing this, um, so that you guys can click along with me. Uh, because it can be really overwhelming and took a good bit of research to figure out how to actually go about doing all this. Uh, so if you did enjoy this uh, for the work that I put in um, to learn this and then hopefully sharing it with you in a way that made it easy for you guys to follow along with me I'd love it if you'd hit the like button um, and if you did like this then feel free to go over to my channel where I've got a lot of similar videos where I talk about some really cool DeFi things NFT things blockchain gaming things so if any of those things are up your alley you should check out my channel and if you like it feel free to subscribe and I'll keep the videos coming hope everyone has a great day